in terms of you know whether this is a, a political stunt or you know to, to get reelected, I didn't need this to get reelected. I'm going to get reelected. Welcome everyone to the September 18th, 2007 Board of County Supervisors meeting. The expenditures are related to 21 additional staff. That's additional staff in addition to the proposed staffing plan that has technically been funded. The cost must always be weighed uh, against the benefits. And the benefits here, I think, are pretty substantial. Um, but they're more substantial in the long term. How long is long? Well, I think you're, you know, 30 years. And one of the concerns I have is that we have a community that expects us to do wonders. And I'm uh, concerned that our community won't think we're doing a good job because uh, they expect that we're going to be able to solve the problems of day laborers and, and different issues that are irritating to them every day. But I'm here to tell you that no matter how much money you give me, we're not going to be able to solve that problem ourselves. I think that the police chief is absolutely right, that we have to manage expectations. There are some quality of life improvements that we're going to make as a result of this crackdown. Although progress may be slow, don't, don't blame it on the police department. Uh, they are doing everything that they possibly can. If there is blame to go anywhere, it's with the federal government, which over the course of decades has failed to do anything to control the border. The federal government has failed, and why Prince William County and other localities have to pick up the slack for what the federal right. government has failed to do. That's right. We need all of your support. we got a tough election. This election that is on the local level is going to have national significance. It's going to be seen as a referendum on whether or not the people of this county support what we're doing to crack down on illegal immigration. I need your help. Please sign up. John Stewart needs your help. Give him a round of applause. He's the one who first got this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We are ground zero in this debate on illegal immigration, and uh, we're getting a lot of national attention, uh, certainly regional and all around the state. Um, so we've got a responsibility here to do it right, to make sure that the resolution is, uh, uh, is not only legally sustainable and defensible, but that it's fully funded. We can't let a smaller concern like this mm -hmm. stop what has become a, a national sim symbol of what a locality can do to crack down on right. illegal immigration and particularly to arrest and initiate deportation for criminal uh, illegal aliens. Uh, and, and so I, I feel some extra responsibility here to get this thing done, to get it passed and to make sure that it's done properly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And that's why, you know, when, when you said a, a Democrat mentioned that it was a political ploy, well, you know, like I said, I'd be kind of an idiot if I did this for politics alone because at the end of the day, uh, a year from now or two years from now, people are going to still walk down the street. They're going to see an overcrowded house. They're going to see you know, lines at the emergency rooms, and they're going to, they're, these problems are going to persist. Um, and they're going to say, hey, Stuart, didn't you say you are going to do something about that? And I'm going to have to say, yeah, you know what? I'm still trying. I'm still working on it. And we're making progress. We haven't fixed the problem yet, but we're making progress. And that's all I'm going to be able to say a year, two, three years from now.